Yeah, boy. Right, guys. Hi. Today, I've got to do a review of this Phantom Electric Glider. It's quite windy today, but this is basically a. Um, it was only five quid, and I thought I'd give it a go. I've never tried. Oh, oh yeah. I've never tried this before, but I've had one like this as a kid. They were pretty epic when I had one. I had one years ago um, when I was like probably about 13, 14, probably about 14, 13, I think. And my dad bought me one, and uh, we had one like similar to this. And it was pretty epic. Like, basically, you just charge it up, release it, and then let go, and it just goes off on its own. Um, yeah, I had one as a kid, and I remember I was going to show my mum it. I was like, oh man, what's this? And I left it uncharged too long because you only meant to put it on charge for like 30 seconds, no, like 10 to 20 seconds. So I was like, um, yeah, I get, I, I'll put it on charge and I forgot to put it on charge for way too long, like for like probably 20 minutes by accident. So I was like, oh man, what's this? I, I let it go and uh, yeah, it flew off and never to be seen, like, seen again. Um, but hopefully this is just as good. This is five quid from eBay. I'll whack a link in the description if it's any good. And I'm also going to do some boomerang reviews. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do these because this is one of my favourite boomerangs I got from the car boot, and this is quite a good little whistling one. But it's quite windy, so I don't know how it's going to go. But we're going to try it out. We need to get the charger thing out. It's like a little thing that you plug into this thing try it so hopefully it's any good hopefully you guys can see me so this is it this is the phantom glider I'm charge a little minute a couple seconds yeah, it's proper as you see it's a bit windy for it Way too windy. Whoa, see, it's trying to go off already. I don't know if it's going to work. It's just something to try out. Uh, I've never really filmed with a GoPro like this on the head. I'm really hoping you guys can see me, see everything because I don't think you can. Let me just move it a little bit more down. Um, Here we go. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try it when it's not so windy. It's giving a good old thrust though. I just think it's the wind what's doing it, what's making it crash. Shout out to Grandad, who's um, a YouTuber. I think it's I'm, old, I'm an old Grandad or something. Oh, old Man Grandad or something like that. I can't remember your name. But he does stuff like this and I love all that kind of stuff. I've loved it ever since, like boomerangs, uh, kites, anything he does on his channel is pretty sick. Like, I always watch him, don't always comment, but he's been watching my videos, so it's really nice to see him pop by. But this is stuff I enjoy as well, instead of just gaming. Here we go, backflips. Oh, it's a bit windy for it, that's for him. It's a bit. It's a big, uh, bit windy, but yeah, shout out to, I think it's I'm, I'm, an, old, I'm an old man granddad, I can't remember, I'm sorry if I've gone wrong, but, there you go, it's kind of working now, look, try again, it needs like, it's, it's weird today, like it stops and then it goes. Here we go. That's well good, okay. working well good. That was it. That was epic. Hopefully you saw that. That was really good. That was how that's how it's meant to fly, like just do like Splitting around on the flight zone.
Well, what I'll do, I'll do it another day when it's not windy. And I'll try and uh, try when it's not so windy. But hopefully you guys can see us and it's all working good. Um, I'm sorry if the wind is wrecking the mic. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. Backflips. It's kind of working, it's going to hit a tree though. Oh, oh mate. It landed straight in a tree. Fucking <laughs> hell. Straight in a tree. Oh, mate. I'm going to have to climb this. Unless I can take my shoe off and hit it, and it all may come down. There it is, I can get that. Let's get a shoe. Use what you've got. I've done it before when I've lost the boomerang and shit in a tree and then uh, fucking end up getting my shoes stuck in the tree but yeah we'll get it out oh there we go trust the old shoe does the job use what you've got so I've used my shoes many times to get boomerangs out of the tree, um, to try and get aeroplanes out of the tree. Many times in my in my time, so I'm gonna take my hat off because uh, I've taken my hat off because I keep getting uh, keeps coming off my head the camera. Well, oh, that was a really good flight that one. So without no wind, this will be pretty epic. You see, it's still spinning now, even though it's not got much juice in it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see another video of this, I'll definitely uh, sort, it out, sort it out for you. My hat down there. We'll do another charge and get a nice, good charge in this one. Uh, and then we'll try out these boomerangs that I picked up. Um, in the, these are all from Car Boots. Some nice ones as well. The wood, I don't think it's going to be too windy again for these. I've got my scooter here as well, as you can see. We're charging it up. A couple of seconds. Wait for these dogs to go, because there's dumb dogs. Don't want them to chase it. There we go, that's a good one. That's oh, really good, this one. As you can see it. Really good. Oh. Oh. They're really cool. Like, still kind of flying then. Yeah, really cool. Like, they're just fun. Just, I used to love having one of these. Um, as I said before, I've... I uh, lost couple of them. I remember one of them I tried, my dad and it, we chucked it first time and straight into a tree and then sliced the wing in half. I was like, oh man, it cut the wing in half. But uh, it was great. My dad usually watch, sometimes watches my channel, so if you, if you just watch this, he'll remember when we had something like these before. And I got this one as well because it matches the same colour as my American Trail airplane. I have my proper one. So it matches the colours on it and uh, it's pretty cool. So. Let's try and charge it up again. Give it some extra juice this time. And see how far it will go. For only a fiver, like literally five pound from China. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to try one, likes this sort of thing, give it a good old go. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. If you've picked one up after this video, let, let me know if you think it uh, was worth getting. Because I'm pretty sure I think it is. It's pretty cool. But yeah recommend doing it in very light wind but today was not too bad but we'll try this one now ready here you go guys it's pretty cool it's just flying on its own oh 
See if it's got any juice left to fly on its own here. So yeah, it's pretty nice, nice, neaty. So it doesn't get a long flight time, but I've had one. If you, I said, I believe I'm way too long, mate. You're uh, gonna go for a long sprint after it. I remember doing what I said I before in the past. I uh, lost one, very similar to this, very similar, and I was running like. I just thought I was going after it and I realised I was following the bird, not the plane, so I don't know where the hell that went in the, in the end. There we go, it's off. It keeps nose diving a bit though. It keeps going one way or another. There we go, look. But yeah, this is quite a long one. I'll probably cut bits out of this video to make it not as long. And then we'll go straight to the boomerangs. Because that is one of my all-time favourite passion. I just never really fly them often because... I don't know, I don't know. I used to, I used to fly boomerangs all the time, guys. If you speak to my old classic mates when I was a kid, if you see me around, I'd be with a boomerang. I would always fly them at school as well. And school used to let me do it. They used to let me do it. If I go off in the, in the field, far away from everyone else, they'll let me bring a boomerang and to fly it. It was pretty good. I used to make them out of rooters as well, but I'll get back. I'll get to that in a minute in the boomerang section. So. And then you can bend the wings to help you to the way it steers. I think I may end up cutting these. I might cut either these ones, that one, to so help it steer, maybe. So if it's going up, say too much, I can have it go that way. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Just charge it up a little bit more. And uh, hope for the best. Um, I will try it now. I think it's got too much up elevator. There we go. That's the nose bar. I have a crash there, but yeah, it's the wind. It's not helping it. So that's my review of the Phantom Electric Glider. It's not a remote control, it's just a glider that loves to fly when it flies. There we go, look. So, yeah. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Give it a thumbs down if you don't, I don't care. Whatever you want, whatever you think. Sorry if you, it's not the sort of thing you're interested in. And we'll uh, get back. Guys, to it now. I'm going to do. Humans.